<laughs> so one girl recently she comes to me and says, "Hey, you don't look 45." <laughs> yeah, I'm 38. <laughs> I should not look 45 also. <laughs> There was one school like one friend of mine. We were going in a mall, okay. And the school friend of hers recognized her. "Hey, how are you?" And he looks at me. "Your dad? Hello, uncle." <laughs> The worst part is she did not even correct him. Also, <laughs> I told her, "Hey, why you did not correct him, re? It doesn't matter what he says. What matters is who you are." Oh, 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 Sandeep Maheshwari, who am I? You are old. And then she went nonsense. And I'm on Bumble also. I mean, lot of people. See, I've been on Bumble from ten years. Nobody knows. When it was launched, I launched myself also. Sometimes I feel the profiles I am seeing, they are not seeing me. I think there's a mismatch there. You know, and I have rejected so many people on Bumble. I was like, why to spoil her life? <laughs> I have rejected so many people. If ever I started dating Abna, it will be called humble. <laughs> oh, little late your understanding, but you are getting <laughs> engineers maybe, huh? <laughs> which uh, which branch is this? MBA. MBA. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's even worse, huh? <laughs> MBA. So what are you doing now? Still studying. Still studying. Oh, you're doing MBA now? Yeah. Oh, great, man. So this could be your future. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't focus on your studies, this could be the future. Huh? So this show is called Love and Peace. Actually, uh, it's about obviously love and peace. Also, <laughs> a lot of people are asking how love and peace can be together. Do anybody has that kind of questions here? You guys are not in love. <laughs> I mean, not just with each other. It could be with anybody, right? Like you guys are no, never, ever. You never loved anybody. Friends, parents. <laughs> you didn't realize that I asked this, na? Why are you guys not talking? Why are you feeling shy? I am performing. You are feeling shy. <laughs> be shameless, re. Right? No, no, don't come and kiss me. But like this. <laughs> So what? Say something. <laughs> at least say one word, please. Yes, I'm, I'm spellbound looking at you. You are spellbound, dude. Spellbound? Seriously? <laughs> you are spellbound looking at me. <laughs> spellbound? Do you even know the meaning? I don't know the meaning. <laughs> spellbound? What is? Sir, do you think anybody agree, can? Agree, agree. You also agree. Yes. Ostak. Ostak. Who said Ostak? No, I said Gobsmack. Go what? <laughs> Go smack a uh, what? Gobsmack. Gobsmack. What does it even mean? <laughs> Anybody knows the meaning? Gobsmack. Hey, MBA. <laughs> I think I think some of you are over expecting my. I am not that good at English. Okay, my English is basic minimum. You know, you know, Avengers. Me, there's one uh, tree called Groot, na? That's my English. <laughs> Now I use gobsmack everywhere. <laughs> I'm from Hyderabad. Somebody will ask me, "Hey, how was the show in Mumbai?" Gobsmack, man. <laughs> Now they'll get confused. What does it mean? So in one of the shows like this, so they keep asking me, "What about uh, your relationship and all that stuff?" Okay. And actually, at the beginning of this year, I fell in love with a friend. I was in a relationship with a friend for three weeks. <laughs> three weeks. That's it. They generally they say not even three weeks, twenty days. They generally they say, you know, it takes 21 days to form a habit. <laughs> one day before she said sorry, <laughs> what? <laughs> And I felt very bad, man. And there's this one friend of mine who works for a, he's a motivational speaker. He goes to all these depressing companies. What are they called? Software companies. So he, <laughs> he goes there. He keeps giving motivational speeches. So I asked him, dude, there's a, you know, this happened, man. 20 days, man. Break up. That guy was like doing overacting there also. <laughs> Don't feel sad because it's over. Feel glad because it happened. I slapped him. <laughs> Don't feel sad because I slapped Ray. Feel glad I did not kill you. <laughs> ah, nonsense, fellow. <laughs> Horrible, I'm telling you. So, but I'll tell you the story. Okay, it's a beautiful story. Huh? It's only like three-week relationship. I keep wondering what happened. I'll tell you what happened. Okay. Now I can't tell you the name of the girl because uh, uh, obviously, if it, if I put it on YouTube, it would be little uh, copyright issues, na. <laughs> <laughs> But we have to call her something. No, let's just call her uh, our girl. Okay, though she's my girl. <laughs> She was my girl. Okay, sorry for the English. Uh, sorry, sir. <laughs> so <laughs> for this particular show, she's the hero, right? So let's call her our girl. Okay. okay. 
cool. I'll tell the story. It's a beautiful story. You will, to sir, cry. You will be gobsmacked. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Okay, so our girl, so our girl uh, was a friend actually. Uh, I met her like four, five years back, and we were like very good friends and all the stuff. And then eventually we got into relationship. Okay, but before we know about uh, our uh, combined relationship, we need to know our individual stories also, right? Because it gives a lot of context. Okay, I'll tell you first my story. Okay, for the first time I I fell in love was in when I was in engineering man. Engineering college man, I like the people how they fall in love you know for example first bench girls they fall in love with last bench boys first bench uh, boys they fall in with last bench girls middle bench guys do nothing <laughs> they just wait for these people to have breakup and then get married to them <laughs> that's the whole concept so i was in all benches that's why i'm single now also <laughs> And that's why you should not change benches that often. Unless you are working for TCS, that's a different story. <laughs> They'll only change you. <laughs> okay, so there was this uh, girl, uh, let's call her engineering girl. Okay, once again, we cannot give names, right? I fell in love with her. She's the topper of the class, man. One of the best persons I've met. But we had to break up because of caste issues. You know, for Telugu people, caste is such an important thing. Even when we go to movie, we don't see caste and crew. We see caste. <laughs> So, <laughs> and during our time, when I was doing engineering, na, uh, there were no WhatsApp, mobile phones. We used to communicate with each other on landlines. You know how tough it is to love in landlines? Uh, first, you have to keep a code. First, I'll give you three rings. Then you come to the landline, call back with two rings. Then I'll call you, then we have to talk, okay? So one of my friends, he fell in love with HOG's daughter. <laughs> and he was like, Rashikar, when I call her, you also be there. Because I was a mimicry artist. And I can imitate girl's voice, I thought. <laughs> that day I realized practice is very important. <laughs> so you're like, dude, don't worry, I will talk in a girl's voice. And then he called. So by mistake, instead of giving three rings, I only gave two rings, okay? But a ring came from there. I thought, okay, desperate girl. <laughs> we called her again. Huh? And then we realized, actually picked up the call. And you're like, who is this? And then I started imitating in a girl's voice. Ah, hello, uncle. He understood because this voice is not girl's voice or a boy's voice, okay? <laughs> you were like, hey, who are you? Hey, Rajesh, Suresh, Ramesh. This many people calling, huh? <laughs> <laughs> then we asked him, how did you find out? Then he told, the code is three rings. <laughs> you guys gave only two rings, which means chemistry teacher is calling for me. <laughs> oh. Naughty fellow. Huh? <laughs> and my grandparents, they were communicating with each other, they fell in love with each other through letters also. One day my grandmom showed me a letter which was like 48 page letter. That is almost a book. <laughs> uh, if the ending is nonsense, it could have been a Chetan Bhakti. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I asked my grandmom also, did you marry this guy? Because he wrote 48 pages, like he spent, I think, at least eight, for eight to nine days writing this book. Did you marry him? They said, no, no, I did not marry. Why? Grammatical errors. Hey, <laughs> don't do overacting, okay? <laughs> Unnecessary overacting. Then she told me that uh, she doesn't know English. He wrote it in English. <laughs> she married a Telugu guy. You know, but with, despite of all these difficulties, I fell in love with this engineering girl. I took my dad home, to her home. Okay, let's talk about the marriage. We went to home and then ideally, I think when you go to a girl's house, you should inform them that we are coming. <laughs> ideally. But we did not, okay. We knocked on the door, she opened the door <gasps> and then ran off. <laughs> My dad was like, you did not tell them. Huh? I mean, I did not. You should have, no? Now we are just awkwardly waiting there uh, for two minutes. True love comes back. Uh, true love did not come back. Her father came. I was like, come, come. And then we sat inside. My dad is doing overacting only. When you are going, you should be humble, right? You have to talk the discussion. My dad is on a different trip altogether. My dad is telling that if they are loving each other, who are we? <laughs> who are we? Why should we be there? Let's go out. Like that, he's doing all. Dad, just relax. They don't even know. <laughs> oh, you did not tell them. Why will I tell them? I didn't even tell her. What? You didn't even tell her. <laughs> And then her dad, he told me, the only way this marriage can happen is if I die and she walks over my dead body and then marries you. I was like, at that time, ideally you should say, uncle, don't say all these things. But I looked at him and said, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> that was the worst thing to say. Because even now I'm waiting. 
she married somebody now which means i'm waiting for two people to die no no are are no no are fine are so okay so let them leave what is there man huh? it's fine so we had to break up man my engineering story ended like this on the other hand our girl she is in a different timeline all of you huh? we are of different ages also now our girl in her engineering college she also fell in love with one guy after the end of the engineering by the end of four years no our girl married that boyfriend so in a way in a societal terms no that love story ended in marriage which means it's a successful love story cool till now you guys are okay right okay now after my engineering girl story is done after four five years after that i fell in love with another girl let's call her bus girl <laughs> okay like if you take all the human beings all the best human beings in the world na no? you keep them in one line our bus girl won't be in that line <laughs> because she is better than the best that's what i'm saying she is such a beautiful person i'm telling you there was one time i was shifting to my hometown and i told her hey temporarily i may have to go to hometown from my hyderabad i'll come back in 6 7 months and this girl is like no no don't go bolke she started crying for four hours she cried she just held and cried i was like wow how lucky i am and i didn't go because the bus was next day <laughs> and the next day i did not even ping her i just went in the bus <laughs> but i also had to break up with her because at that time i was going through a lot of uh, you know issues you know and because stand up comedy you know uh at that time i was struggling i was uh, like you know new to stand up comedy and stand up comedy is new now also for some people half of my relatives they don't even know what i do i keep telling them where do you work tcs <laughs> whichever company is sometimes is microsoft sometimes they don't even know where are you working spellbound <laughs> i just keep sometimes some people they'll tell you hey rashika why don't you come and perform for free you will get exposure if everybody gives exposure i won't have exposure to money na <laughs> So I was going through all these things, and mentally I was not in a good space. Okay, so and I had to like uh, go to therapy and all this stuff. And I told her, hey, I think <laughs> right now. And when you are going through some issues, your closest ones are the ones who will take the most of the brunt. So I told her, hey, just relax. I think we need to break up. Bolke, we broke up. On the other hand, our girl, she got married, right? She got married to love of her life, but her story turned very bad after marriage, because it was love marriage. The kid happened earlier than expected. <laughs> only mba guys <laughs> not if fellows you will never get married right so anyway so our girl she married this guy right now this guy turned out to be abuser after marriage her story turned out to be very bad that guy started abusing her every day verbally and non verbally uh, and four years the torture continued it was so bad the kid was there she thought maybe the kid is there he will change we all keep doing this right we keep waiting for some incident maybe if i do this this will change maybe dinesh karthik joins rcb rcb will win <laughs> sometimes destiny has other plans <laughs> rcb won't win uh, and even our girl she couldn't change that guy she took him to therapist also that guy slapped the therapist <laughs> now the therapist needed another therapist that therapist so it just went on you know i think i have a feeling that all of us need therapy man i have never met anybody who doesn't need therapy maybe ranveer singh he doesn't need <laughs> because he's sleeping naked on the carpet <laughs> he doesn't need therapy he needs new carpet <laughs> he needs <laughs> and after 5 years of bad marriage she just walked out of the marriage with the kid and she said enough is enough now after this incident happened after 3 years of this happened and we both met okay and we both are <laughs> and you know i am a nice guy only <laughs> little hair is not there but uh, humanity is there uh, so we both met and we became good friends i did not know much of this story okay she just told that she was in a bad marriage and she had a kid and i was like okay fine it doesn't matter like we all go through different things and after a while this lady calls me and she was like hey uh, i have to tell you something and we went for a walk and she told her entire story abridged version of her story for one hour okay <laughs> and i was in tears and i am a kind of a guy who cries while watching cartoon movies there is one movie called toy story 4 i was watching for the fourth time in the hall i was crying there's a kid who, kid who was sitting beside me the kid is like uncle is crying you watch the movie na why are you looking it's a 3d glass no look straight 
and that kid is asking your mommy did not buy you toys all those are my toys only her mom is like pervert no not <laughs> So I was that kind of a, I was that kind of guy who cries for everything. Okay, I when she told the story, I cried for like one hour, and I don't know what to say. What will you say? I just looked at, hey, uh, anything is needed, I'm there. Don't worry. Like I'll be. <laughs> not like that, right? Normal. <laughs> I did not say anything is needed. <laughs> so normal. Normal. I told. With full nice kindness, uh, uh, like Rasamrit level kindness, I told if anything is there, I am there for you. Okay, I was there for her, man, because that's what that's the best thing you can do, right? After a few months after this, uh, she asked one more question. She was like, "Hey, uh, you want to get into relationship?" I'm like, "Yes, whose relationship?" <laughs> now I know why you are single, Ray. <laughs> and then we got into relationship, okay, for three weeks. <laughs> Then nothing happened, man. Well, I'm not like that. As in, there's no, no. I mean, so there's no. I I didn't know what happened. Okay, after three weeks, she says, I don't want any relationship. Not just any. I felt like Bangladesh cricket team. <laughs> you play cricket so bad that the fans stops watching cricket only. They migrate to kabaddi and hockey. <laughs> I felt so bad, man. And I didn't know what to do, and I started feeling sad. For the next one week, I was sad. And when you go through breakup when you're 38, na, what will people tell you? One thing, and I asked this motivational friend, that guy like, hey, it doesn't matter. I'll be there for you throughout. And he was there wherever I was going. He was sitting in the back only. There was one time we were going on the bike. There was a pedestrian crossing the road. He was telling me, sometimes obstacles come in the way. We need to cross them. Hey, a pedestrian, right? <laughs> After he crosses, we'll go. And he keeps talking on the bike, okay? Sometimes we have to pick ourselves up. I dropped him at the next signal. I'm like, why did you drop me? Sometimes, pick yourself up, no? And then I left. I didn't know. <laughs> It was so confusing, man. And after a while, you know, after one week or ten days, I realized, hey, Rashika, relax. The entire relationship was only for three weeks. How long you will feel bad, right? Anyway, you already have the content. Just relax. Man. <laughs> I told her, hey, uh, it's fine, you know, whatever happened, happened. Like, we were friends, we will be friends, uh, friends forever. Huh? So, if anything is needed, let me know, I'm there for you. What else we can say after a few days of this? Once again, she called me. So, during this entire process, she was also going through this divorce process, okay? Now, there are like two ways in which uh, divorce happens in India. One is off-court settlement, where they try to settle, for three meetings they'll have, off-court, they try to settle it out, and then you'll go to the court. All these off-court settlements did not work out for her. So, now she has to go for the court, high court. Now, she told, for this to happen, I have to sit down and write all the incidents which I had gone through with that guy, and I have to document it and give it to the lawyer. Now she said, that will be very traumatic for me, so I don't know whether I'll be able to write. I told, hey, <laughs> I'm a stand-up comedian. I know a lot of good words in English. I can write it for you. And then she was telling, I wrote, I took my laptop, sat in front of her. I wrote it for six hours, six hours. And incident after incident, she was narrating. And incident after incident, I was just writing. And I was looking at the laptop, I was looking at her. How could somebody go through this much torture in the name of love? I was gone. I was gone for the next few days. Because those incidents which I wrote, they have moved me. They have like just destroyed my mind. Now I cannot tell what I wrote because that's not my story. But what I can tell you is if you love somebody, you cannot torture them like this. How can you hurt somebody when you love them? I didn't realize. I was like just going through it and I started questioning myself, is there love? Is there any love which doesn't hurt? Is there any love where there is no pain? How is that love? And you know the kind of love which we see in movies, right? I saw one movie, girl and a boy, they touch each other's fingers, spark comes. <laughs> they are in love it seems. Ah, whatever that is. I touched the girl hand of every girl in my engineering college. <laughs> one girl slapped me, oh, okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> And there's one, another type of love, huh? another type of love which all of us know. Uh, our parents, they directly don't tell us anything. They tell the, one of our relatives, huh? hey, tell this, na. Tell, uh, tell my son to go to IIT. You tell directly, na. 
One day I went to IIT to drop my cousin and came back. <laughs> that was not enough. I have to be there four years, it seems. I dropped him all four years. What is that? <laughs> Tell me directly, no? And there's another type of love. Uh, on behalf of somebody else, we defend that person. I was a huge fan of Sachin, okay? And there was a time uh, during 2011-13 where he was not scoring that 100th century, you know? And there was a lot of pressure on all the Sachin fans. Because if Sachin gets out, every other non-Sachin, eh, hey, you're Sachin, like this they're doing over. And one of them was my cousin. I was hoping that he won't call me. There was one match, Sachin got out at 94. Now I was already angry at ICC, BCCI, World, everybody. <laughs> and this guy calls me. And the moment he calls, I knew. I'm going to give him a lot. And then he calls, ah, you saw a match? I saw the match, Ray. You tell me what you want. Hey, yeah, you are Sachin God. I lost it, okay? Bakwas fellow. You are in BA, BA fourth year, Ray. Huh? Who will be in fourth year in BA, Ray? Huh? First of all, look at your own life, na? Sachin's test average is 53. Your marks average is 32. <laughs> look at your own face, nonsense fellow. The moment I said this, he disconnected the call. Obviously. Later I realized I was staying at his place only. <laughs> Uh, these are the kind of loves, man. In, and every love is having some pain or the hurt only. It's leading to some violence only. Then I started questioning myself, is there any love which doesn't evoke violence or hurt or pain? I didn't know, man. Like I was just searching. It just I was contemplating so much. I lost it, man. And then in the mobile, I was going through some pictures and I saw one picture where our girl, she was uh, with her kid. The kid is sleeping on our girl's lap. And our girl is sleeping on her head like this. At that time, I was at, his pla at her place. So I took that picture because uh, it felt cute. Maybe I'll delete it later, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I took the picture, but I did not delete it, okay? And when I saw that picture, in that picture, all I could see was love. Then I started questioning myself, is there anybody in my life in whose presence I felt loved? I started questioning myself, and then I started searching, is there anybody in my life in whose presence I felt loved? Then I realized it was my mom. Not because she's my mom. In my dad's presence, I don't feel loved. <laughs> because these days, my dad, from morning till evening, is reading Sai Baba Chiritra only. Sai Baba feels loved in his presence. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I feel Sai Baba, like even Sai Baba doesn't know about himself as much as my dad knows about Sai Baba. <laughs> There was one time we were going in the car, okay? And whenever I accelerate a little bit, my dad there also is reading Sai Baba book only. If I accelerate a little bit, the book comes down. Because he's scared, he's looking at the road. The moment I slow it down, then the book comes up. He has done that so much, now he has biceps also. <laughs> in his presence, I don't feel loved. But in my mom's presence, I always felt loved. And I started questioning, why? Why did I feel loved in my mom's presence? There was one time during 2012-13 where I was like going through all that uh, financial issues and, and stand-up comedy shows also not going that well. So I went to my hometown and my mom uh, brought one filter coffee and kept it in front of me. There's a small ant in that, okay? I got angry, I just threw it, not on her face. I, she would have killed me in the kitchen, okay? And then she looks at me and says, what happened? I said, there's an ant in that. You can tell me, na? Oh, why did you throw it away, entire coffee? You remove the ant, I would have drank the coffee. And then she made another coffee, gave it to me. So I went and slept off, okay? After a while she comes to me. Why are you behaving like this? What happened to you? Then I told her, nothing is working. Some jokes, they are not working. People are not laughing. Then she was like, okay, tell me the joke. And I told her the joke. <laughs> she was like, never tell this joke. <laughs> It did not work because it's a stupid joke. Yeah. Huh? Don't throw coffee like that. Next time if you're angry, tell me, we will talk. Huh? Don't show it on the coffee. It's a filter coffee. Yeah. Huh? You also should fil put filter on your anger, Volke, she told. I said, what a line did you write? No, I saw it in Instagram, Volke, she went on. <laughs> <laughs> so in her presence, in her presence, I always felt loved. And I felt loved in her presence mainly because in her presence, I always felt safe, both physically and emotionally. Maybe that's what love is. In our presence, if our loved ones, if they can feel safe, both physically and emotionally, that is what love. I <laughs> and what I saw that day, when I wrote all those stories, that's not love. And I, when, once you define love like this, na, then you start questioning yourself, is there anybody in my life 
in my presence, do they feel safe? Now that's a very tricky question to ask. Because if there are not many people, <laughs> then you are messed up. If there are no people, then also you are messed up. Uh, then I started randomly sending messages to some of my friends whom I have hurt. Uh, dude, I am really sorry. Now those guys are surprised. Raja, you are committing suicide. Kya? <laughs> not yet, but <laughs> I am sorry, man. Uh, like this. Now, then I started questioning, is there anybody who feels safe in my presence? Both physically and emotionally. Then I realized my nephew. He's just six years old, okay? Yeah, Peppa Pig guy. There's one video which I made on Peppa Pig. How many of you have seen that video? Okay, most of you have seen it. Oh, wonderful. You guys are remembering the rules also now. Proud of you. I am spellbound. <laughs> so, I, I made this video on Peppa Pig. Uh, Peppa Pig is a cartoon for those of you who don't know. It's just a stupid cartoon. Yeah, I know. So, for 20 minutes I saw one episode where the pig was searching for the specs. Okay. And the specs are on the head only. That's the, that's the whole premise of that video. So after releasing this video, I went to my sister's place and my nephew was there. He came to me, six years old, okay? He came to me and said, I saw the video. Okay. First of all, the pigs, the specks are not on the pig's head. The pig was sitting on them, which means you are lying. Second of all, I don't know why they are laughing. It's not funny. <laughs> Third of all, don't do comedy. Hey. <laughs> Six-year-old, okay. Six-year-old, he was telling me. And only, like my nephew can only do that to me. He cannot do that in front of my sister. In front of my sister, I am scared too. I don't feel safe. I don't think she also feels safe in her presence, man. She is like Kabir Singh of her family. Always angry. There was one time I was going on scooty, okay. I was sitting on the back, she was driving. And first of all, scooty is not made for speed. It's made for contemplation. Why am I still driving scooty? What did I do with my life? How can I make better purchases? Like this is the contemplation you have to make. Now she is driving at a great speed, okay? Now I was telling her, hey, please, please relax. Along with silencer, I also might fall off. She was like, it doesn't matter. You get up and come back. Hey, hello, Chintu, relax. So we were going, there was one bus guy, RTC bus guy. He just overtook us, gave us a cut and went off. Now she got angry. She started chasing the bus. I told her, that's a bus. Relax, it has four wheels, maybe six with the two wheels in the back. Just relax. You shut up, okay? She started chasing. She chased the bus, parked the vehicle in front of the bus. She was like, take care of the scooty. It's gone there already. <laughs> she went inside the bus, started shouting at the driver. Now the driver was confused. Why are you shouting at me? Because generally drivers shout. <laughs> they won't get shouted at. Now my sister shouted, now this girl did not know what to do. He was looking at me, hey, you sent a girl inside? Are you not a man? And my sister while getting up, no, he's not, so what? <laughs> Why are you involving me, Ray? <laughs> ah, nonsense, fellow. There was one time we went to railway station, she parked the vehicle there. The parking guy comes and says, Madam, 50 rupees uh, fee. Uh, these days you guys are taking money from the police also, and she walked out. <laughs> now I am standing there between Scooty and this guy. I am a prisoner, sir, she's arresting me. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel safe in front of her, right? Uh, so that's when I realized, man, I think any love, any love, any love, it could be towards my partner, towards my favorite politician, towards my favorite cricketer, any love, if it doesn't evoke peace, that's not love. And you need to feel safe, man. That's what I realized. But now the show has to end, right? <laughs> For the show to end, huh? we have to do something, right? Then what I did was, uh, I wrote a <clears throat> poem actually. <laughs> I mean, I'll read it now because uh, oh. generally when poets read, write poems, na, they read. I don't know why. Four lines only I could have memorized. But for the effect, uh, I have written. It's a beautiful poem. I only wrote <laughs> Original. Yeah, I drink water because afterwards you'll be crying. It's, a, it's an emotional poem. Yeah, right. Drink, drink. Anybody wants to drink water? Right now, this is the moment. After that, I'm sorry. I'm not responsible for the emotions which you're going to go through. Chinto. <laughs> MBA, huh? Okay, the last corner, whoever is sitting there. Huh? Hello. I saw you. Don't have to hide. After listening to this poem, you will hide your emotions forever. It's a beautiful poem, sir. You will, you always really respect me, right? Yes. You will give a standing ovation after this poem. No, no. <laughs> Don't give. So this, uh, this poem, 
It's a beautiful poem. So there was one guy in Hyderabad. Uh, he calls himself a comedian. Is a poet also, comedian also? Is it? <laughs> Pomidian. That's the word, Pomidian. Uh, it looks like almost like Pomidian dog. Uh, Pomidian. Uh, but I like that guy because whenever he tells poem, people laugh. Whenever he does comedy, people leave. So which is a <laughs> Pomidian. So maybe I'll also be a Pomidian, you know. So but this is a beautiful poem. This is one of the best poems I've ever written because this is the only poem. <laughs> and I think it's not poem, right? It's poem. Like, uh, you understood, na? Uh, don't judge my English now already. I'll say poem. So, uh, it's such an emotional poem. I read it to my dad. My dad was like, I don't feel safe here. Please <laughs> leave me at my sister's place. He left, okay? Like, that's. I'm a, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, in uh, Pune also, I was giving this kind of a build up, okay? Before reading the poem. <laughs> So there was, um, I don't know why kids are coming to my shows. <laughs> we mentioned very clearly 16 plus, okay. Uh, but kids are coming. There was one four year old kid came. <coughs> four year old. Eh? Dude, why did you even come to? I asked the parents, also, why did you bring him? No, 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 actually, we brought him because uh, if he doesn't study well, he might end up like you. So he, <laughs> we are giving him an example. Dude, what bakwas fellow? Now they sat in the audience, okay? Now four year old, now four year old, you have to behave like a four year old, okay? So I was reading this poem, that guy, I was giving this build up, okay? That guy like, hey, read the poem. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll read, I'll read. <laughs> One thing I started giving build up, that guy like, hey, when is your birthday? I told Jan 25th, when is yours? Mine is August 11th, now read the poem. <laughs> so I read the entire poem, after that he says, now good poem, now tell some jokes also. Dude, why did you even come to my show, man? I'm being heckled by four year old, okay? <laughs> Ah, that's my, like, I feel sad for, about my comedy sometimes. I should have just become a poet only. So now, this, uh, I'll read the poem, don't worry. Because... <laughs> promise I'll read, I won't get distracted. That guy is already angry. He's like, read, re, hey! <laughs> MBA guys are this much uh, build up, we did not even write in our exams also. There. <laughs> okay, you know, there's one uh, word called uh, babe, right? Like, couples, they keep calling each other. So. Babe, yeah, that's called babe, not babe. <laughs> babe, okay. okay so this, this is uh, addressed to her, but this is for everybody who has loved and uh, got hurt or something. Okay, cool. So I address it like a babe because I did not, I can't tell the name of our girl now. So babe, okay. But this is for everybody because men also can be called babe. You are a babe. He's a babe. I'm a babe. We are all babesters. Okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's a beautiful poem. <laughs> what, what? What did he say? <laughs> okay, Ray, I'll read now. <laughs> Let me get into the feel of it, okay? Because this, see, once I read this poem, no, there's no going back. <laughs> I'm telling you, see, this is going to, this is the most singular, most important event of all your lives. I'm not kidding. So this poem has depth also, and the sincerity, love, and Whatever the other feelings which you could think of. Please read it. <laughs> now I'll read because the way she, please read it, otherwise we are just walking off from here. Okay, okay. Babe, okay. <laughs> Babe, don't blame yourself for trying, caring and loving. You tried because you cared. You cared because you loved. You will see the love which kept giving. You are not your hurt, you are not your pain, you are not your story. You are the kindness which was taken for granted. Be kind to yourself. Let it all go, babe. Let peace find you again. You see, where there is peace, there is love. Love is peace. I don't know. Multiple talents, huh? <laughs> But before I leave, I have to tell you two uh, two things, okay? First thing, I told you, right, my dad, he keeps reading the Sai Baba book and everything. Every day, he keeps reading Sai Baba book. So I asked my sister, why is he reading Sai Baba book? There's an exam, kya? <laughs> and my sister told me one thing which like blew my mind. So my mom uh, passed away in 2020, okay? I made a video called uh, Love Letter to Mom as a tribute to that, uh, that. Anybody seen that? Love letter to mom? Yes. You guys liked it? Yes. So some followers, they ask this stupid question also. They're like, hey, when is love letter to dad coming? 
marunga re he is alive <laughs> and like for him to die and all i can't make him watch uh, liger and all no <laughs> so my dad from my dad he keeps reading the sai baba books right? so i asked my sister why is he reading then she told one beautiful thing okay so after uh, when my mom was alive my dad and my mom both of them used to read, read the sai baba charitra itself every day they would uh, read like two chapters each times so after my mom passed away on behalf of her he is reading her chapters also that is her, his way of reminding her keeping her alive her memories alive my dad has a theory also he keeps saying that you know uh, like sai baba will protect you now i keep checking in every show there will be one guy with name sai he'll be there yeah. see i told you <laughs> so you might have thought you purchased the ticket no sir my dad made you through sai baba purchase the ticket okay <laughs> Thank you, Sai, for protecting me. Okay. <laughs> and there's this one more uh, beautiful movie which I've seen called Time Machine. Okay. In that movie, what happens is there's this one scientist and his girlfriend. His girlfriend dies. Out of frustration to save her, this scientist goes and invents a time machine. And every time he goes back to that moment to save her, he only realizes in different ways in which she's dying. So after a while, she he gives up, which means no matter what he does, he cannot save her. So no matter what I do, I cannot change those three weeks. No matter what our girl does, she cannot change those four years. And we don't know what is going to happen in the future, right? Because this is the only thing which we have. This is the only moment which all of us are sharing. And this is where love and peace is there. Which means even if I invent a time machine and go back, I cannot convince Vijay Devarakonda to not to do like her. <laughs> okay, that's our show. Thank you so much, everybody. You guys have been a wonderful audience. Thank you so much for turning up.